we are rolling. What's up, everybody? It's Nachos right here with another injury vlog. This cannot turn into a regular thing. The reason why I made this video is that I have sustained two injuries on separate occasions and locations within the same week, which are both serious and painful enough to impede my normal day-to-day -day activities, let alone my movements. Okay, what happened? Well, there is the toe jam bail. Basically, I twist too fast, too hard in the gymnastics gym, you know, pad ground and everything. Yay, soft stuff. But I hit the ground at the wrong angle. So yeah, I kind of sprained my toe, bruised a few tendons. And also the other time is my shin bail in which I did a round off back off a trampoline track into the foam pit, but I actually missed the foam pit and shinned the edge of it. Once again, the foam pit, the edge was padded, but still hurt like shit. Yeah, can't really walk right now. The common thing between these two events was that they both took place in a seemingly safer environment. You know, like they say, oh, it's a lot safer. You got foam pits, padded floor, bouncy stuff, you know, move high, have a lot of time to rotate. But then yeah, at the same time, you hit harder onto the ground. So the reason why I get injured in these sort of safer places is that I was complacent. The place was padded, the place was safe, comfortable. That's why I didn't focus and all. So hence resulting in me doing half ass shit and getting injured. What I mean by that is when I train outside on the concrete, it's like there's nothing but your skills to save you. And that's one of the larger contributing factors to why people don't get injured outside. They focus when they train outside. Because you don't do it right, you're not going to be safe. Some of you may point out my double kong ankle breaking bail that happened outside when I was trying to double kong over two of my friends crouched onto the ground. Yes, that happened. For that situation, I was overconfident. Because the double kong was a newly learned movement Therefore, I kind of overestimated myself, got cocky and performed it without much care or thought. My point here is that focus. Focus is important in training. If you don't focus, you're bound to get injured. The higher level the movements you're attempting, the higher rate uh, of injury you get. And that's all for today's injury vlog. Thanks for watching. Ugh.